Begin reading your task. Begin. Hi, Samantha. I'm Dr. Raza, one of the doctor in the department. Uh, I'm called by the nurse that you're not feeling well. I am not feeling well, doctor. Okay, no, no worries, no worries. Okay, I'll have a look on to you. Okay, uh, please tell me how you're feeling. Uh, why are you not feeling well? I am feeling very dizzy. Okay, let me have a look. Let me check your oxygen saturation. You have no problem with the breathing. No. Okay. All right. Let me check your oxygen saturation. Uh, your oxygen saturation is low. I need to give you oxygen, okay, through the non-rebreathe mask. You're 37, quite young for the COPD, so I'm not really worried. Tell me if you have any smoker's cough. No. Okay. Th thank you. I'm going to give you oxygen, okay? Bear with me, I will take it off if you don't need it, okay? I will do a blood test on your pulse. That's the ABG, okay? Now I need to examine your chest and listen to your chest as well, okay? Can I expose your chest a bit? Yes. Okay, I have the chaperon with me. Okay. Take deep breath in and out. Okay, no pain in your chest? No. Okay, I'm going to feel your chest a bit. Okay. Any pain? No. Okay, take deep breath in and out. And again. All right. Okay. A bit tapping on your chest. Resonant normal? Yes. Okay. I'm going to listen to your chest now quickly. Deep breath in and out. And again. And again, please. And again. Normal. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to cover your chest now. Let me feel your finger. One, two, three, four, five. So a bit of fill time is four seconds. Okay. Uh, you seem quite dehydrated, okay? I'm told by the nurse that you, uh, you lost a lot of blood and I can see that the infusion is already going on. Please don't worry, okay? I'm, I'm here to look after you. Okay. On rhythm. Okay. Balloon. All right. I'm missing the respiratory rate. Um, can I see the respiratory rate? Okay. Samantha, you are breathing a bit fast. Uh, please don't worry. Um, I will look after you, okay? Are all the pulses present? Yes. This the pulses are balbable. Okay. And there is a bit of pallor as well, I presume? Yes. Okay, can I know the blood pressure of Samantha, please? Okay, uh, it is quite low. Uh, Samantha, your blood pressure is quite low, okay? I need to have a look um, in your private area. I have the chaperone with me, okay? Okay. Thank you. Oh, I can see that uh, uh, there is a lot of blood in... Uh, um, do you have any pain in your tummy? No. Okay. I'm just trying to feel your uterus, okay? It can happen after multiple uh, deliveries, okay? So um, I'm told that this was your fourth pregnancy, isn't it? I delivered my fourth baby today. Okay, okay. So I'm doing a bit of massage and I need to give you medication called oxytocin, okay?
Okay. Ideally, it should be given through the vein. Um, and uh, let me put the cannulas. You already had one cannula before, so I'm making sure that you have two of them. Okay. So I'm giving you oxytocin. Ideally, it should be given 10 units through the infusion. Okay. You will start feeling better. I'm just um, going to continue doing the abdominal massage. Okay. Yeah. Are you feeling any better? Yes, I'm feeling better now. Okay, okay. Let me see. The numbers have started getting better. Um, let me show you bright light. Bilaterally reactive 3.5 millimeter in diameter. Okay, thank you. I'm happy with that. Let me check your glucose now. Samantha, are you diabetic at all? No. Okay, all right. So I'm checking your glucose. Glucose level is 6.5 millimole per liter. Okay, I'm happy with that as well. So let's see what the numbers are doing. Okay, your oxygen saturation is better. Your breathing is better as well. Uh, pulse. And the blood pressure is borderline, uh, still a bit low. Samantha, how are you feeling? I'm feeling better now. Okay, and you know where you are? Yes. Okay, okay. Um, I will give you uh, a different medication. Let me have a look on the bleeding. Is the bleeding continuous? Yes. Yeah, okay. So I'll continue the massage. Two, Two minutes, minutes remaining. And uh, give you ergometrine, okay? through your vein. So you'll start feeling better. At the same time, I will request the blood samples um, for, I will do the blood samples for group and save and cross match. I will check your hemoglobin. I will um, activate the massive hemorrhage protocol. And if you do not improve, then we may need to give you the transfusion, okay? Okay. And um, I'll make sure that I discuss with my seniors and ask them to review you. Sometimes it does happen if the bleeding is excessive and we are not managed to, we do not manage to control with the medications. We may need to take the patient to theater. I feel that it will get better. However, I will keep an eye and I will get the advice from the seniors as well, okay? In the meantime, please do not eat or drink anything, okay? Okay. Do you need anything, any painkiller? Or if you're feeling sick, then I can give you anti-sickness medication. No, I'm good. Okay. So I will get the blood transfusion. Okay. okay. So, um, examiner, can I have the blood transfusion, please? Uh, how much blood and which type of blood? Um, I need O negative, two units of O negative blood because my patient is constantly bleeding mm -hmm. and uh, she had prolonged uh, capillary refill time, so I'm going to give two units of uh, uh, O negative blood, okay? Samantha, I have started the transfusion. You will start feeling very, uh, very quickly, you will start feeling well, okay? Mm -hmm. Please let me know if you, um, if you don't feel well, okay? Any pain, any abdominal pain or um, any difficulty in breathing, please let the nurse know. I will come and see you again. Okay. Okay. At the moment, I'm happy with the numbers. Uh, your blood. Move on to the next station. station.